there, my name is Melissa and I'm at the South Bend Elkhart Audubon Society. One of my favorite questions I often get asked by people is what is this bird? They will go on to tell me where they saw it, what color it was, or maybe even its shape. As a beginning birder, it can be overwhelming to look through a field guide and see hundreds of birds, many of which are uncommon or not even found in your area. When I first started birding, I would get easily frustrated, not knowing where to start with identifying a bird. To help, I put together a video series that covers the most common 20 birds in our region of St. Joseph and Elkhart counties of Indiana. Learning these most common birds will set the stage for you to become a better birder and make more challenging identifications when you encounter them in the field. Many of these birds are common throughout the Midwest and Eastern United States, but some of them are more tied to our area. So how did I come up with these 20 birds? Well, the data was gathered from eBird.org, a website used to record bird sightings and observations. The report covers the past 10 years, 2010 to 2020, of observations in St. Joseph and Elkhart counties. It represents the com most commonly reported, not necessarily the most abundant. This methodology helps to standardize the data between birds that travel in large groups and those that are more solitary. It is important to notice all parts of an observation, including color, shape, size, location, and behavior. For this reason, in the forthcoming videos, I will be discussing all aspects of bird identification, not just its visual appearance. I put these videos together with the help of several resources, most notably eBird.org, Birds of the World by Cornell Lab of Ornithology, Macaulay Library of the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, Indiana.gov Fish and Wildlife, IUCN Red List, Audubon.org, FeederWatch.org, and Peterson Field Guide to Birds of North America 2009. The sources for each video will be included in the video descriptions. If you are interested in a particular bird covered in this series or any other bird found in our region, please consider joining the South Bend Elkar Audubon Society for a field trip, or you could even become a member. Members of our society have access to a bird sanctuary where all these birds and hundreds of others have been observed. Thank you for watching and happy birding.